What's going on guys? Thank you so much for joining me. I am so excited to be bringing you this first ever DIY video. My name is Zach Hendrickson and today we're going to be making this rustic looking wine glass holder and coffee mug rack on the cutting board. Okay, so to kick this off, I measured out the lengths of the 1x6s that I wanted to cut and set up the stop on my miter saw so that I can make multiple cuts of even length quickly. And if you want more information, all my measurements can be found in my written article, which is linked in the description. Once all my cuts were made, I set up my jig to drill out pocket holes for attaching my pieces together. To do this, I measured the width of my wood, I set the drill guide block to that thickness, and set my drill depth based on the screw length chart that Craig provides. I then marked up my points and drilled out all my pocket holes. I then clamped everything together and sanded the edges with my orbital sander at 60 grit. After that, I could sand each piece individually to weather it down. Once that was done, I beat it up with my hammer to give it a distressed look. And then it was time to stain. I chose this special walnut color from Minwax. While it dried, I measured out and cut to length the wine glass holder pieces and sanded them down as well to take the sharp edges off. Once that was done, I could clamp them together and drill pilot holes based on the width of my wine stem. To finish them off, I set a stop on my miter saw and cut away the excess pieces. It wasn't perfect, but it worked just fine. And after staining those pieces and letting them dry, I could begin final assembly with my pocket hole screws and impact driver. And I wanted each board to have a slightly different look, so I mixed up four different paint colors with water and painted each one separately. I think it turned out pretty well. And while the paint dried, I turned to making the coffee mug hooks, which involved me bending nails using my vice grip and a hammer, turning this nail into this hook. And then it was time for final assembly. I measured out where I wanted my wine holders to go, I marked the area, and I drilled my pilot holes. I then used wood screws to attach it together. And yes, I realized I accidentally did this backwards the first time. That's my bad. Lastly, I marked and nailed in the hooks for the coffee mugs. And with the final paint job, I was finished. And I'd say these things came out pretty great. And that's all there is to it guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to the channel as I'll be putting out videos every two weeks and I would love it if you guys came along for the journey with me. My name is Zach Hendrickson. I'll see you guys next time on The Cutting Board.